Imagine running one of the most advanced AI models right in your MacBook. No cloud needed. Let's make it happen. Welcome to the ultimate guide to run Llama 3.3 70B locally in your MacBook Pro. Whether you're a tech enthusiast, an AI developer, or just someone curious about leveraging the power of AI at home, this step-by-step -step tutorial will get you there. And we're not stopping at the functionality. We're upgrading the experience with anything LLM for a seek and intuitive interface. Let's get started. Okay, so let's break down the process of installing Olama and setting up Llama 3.3 70B uh, step by step. Uh, so the first thing first to do uh, before we even get Llama 3.3, uh, we need Olama, the tool that simplify running advanced AI models locally in your machine. And here's what we need to do. First thing first, we need to go to the official website of Olama and download Olama. Uh, before we download that, I want to show you guys what list of AI models Olama provides. And this is Llama 3.3. That's the model we're going to test. Uh, this is 70 billion parameters model. Uh, this is QWQ. It's another model. Llama 3.2 Vision. Llama 3.2. That is Llama 3.1. And we go on down the list. There is Mistral, uh, Llama 3, Gamma, uh, Queen, and uh, there is a list of different models and different capabilities of every model. But we are interesting in this model with 70 billion parameter models. Uh, this models could be heavy in our machine. Uh, I want to show you uh, what configuration that I have. I have the MacBook Pro with M4 Pro chip, 24 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm running the Sequoia 15.2. Uh, as I said, this model could be heavy on my machine, but we're going to test and see what happens. Uh, otherwise, we're going to run the 3.2 to be able to move with this video and show you how to use anything LLM uh, connect to uh, Llama as well for a better interface. So let's start by downloading Olama and we're gonna we're gonna choose Mac and hit download for Mac OS. After the model is downloaded completely we're gonna unzip this and double click Olama to run it on our machine. We're gonna give it some permissions here. We're gonna move it to the application folder and here we go. We can see the small icon here that shows uh, a llama head and say quit llama but uh, Llama should be running now. I can do like that. Oh, Llama. And it's running. Uh, to be able to, uh, to interact with the model, we need to run a command and we're going to use Llama 3.3 70B. We're going to copy this and we're going to go to the terminal and paste this command and hit enter. As you see, uh, it start to, to pulling the models and start downloading the models. Uh, it's pretty big in size, 42 gigabytes, and it's going to take about six minutes to download. Okay, so we let our model download uh, in the background there, but I want to show you a quick comparison between different models here. There is Llama 3.2 and 3.370B. This is the one we're uh, downloading right now, and this comparison with GPT-40. And this is different benchmarks from math till uh, logic till reasoning. Uh, and as you see, Llama 3.370B is pretty uh, score good in uh, different benchmarks, even better than GPT 4.0. And the best thing is cheaper by 1 million input token and also cheaper on the output tokens here. Uh, uh, $0 $1 uh, compared to 2.5 and $0 $4 compared to $10 for GPT-4. Okay, so our model have downloaded successfully here. And as you see, since we run this command run Llama 3.3 or Llama run 3.3, it's going to pull the model and get it ready for us to start to interact with the model directly. So let's give it a test here. I'm going to type hello and hit enter and wait for the model to respond. As you see, we didn't get a response yet from uh, from the model. Uh, it seems to be pretty heavy on my machine. Uh, we're gonna keep waiting and see how much time it's gonna take for the model 
To respond to a simple question as hello, as I mentioned before, I'm running the M4 Pro MacBook Pro with 24 GB of RAM and and here we go. Here we get to respond after, uh, I don't know, about one minute. Uh, we get to respond from the model and say, uh, say hello there. Okay, so Llama 3.370B seems to be heavy uh, on my machine, but there is a helpful command called Llama uh, help. And it's give you all the commands that you need for uh, running uh, a model, stopping, pulling, pushing, and list all the models that is installed locally in your machine. You could remove models as well. Uh, and there is more help as well. Uh, in this case, we're gonna go back to Olama website and we're gonna try to run Llama 3.2. We're gonna copy this, this command. It's called Olama run Llama 3.2. We're gonna go back to the terminal and we're gonna run this models when we run this model the first time of course can download as you see this model is uh, significantly small smaller than 70 billion parameters uh, or llama 3.3 is 2 gigabyte compared to 42 gigabytes and it's running pretty fast here here we go uh, it will download some small files as well with the model and it's saved successfully and we can interact with the model directly and we say hello and as you see it's a snappy it's fast it's ideal for day-to-day -day tasks it said hello how can i assist you today and we're gonna say uh, uh, what are the latest news about ai as you see this model is pretty fast is uh, perfect for day-to-day -day tasks and as you see uh it's give you give me uh news about the AI, advanced nature language processing, NLP, Google uh, models, and yeah, AI powered healthcare. Okay, so let's move to the next step and it's installing anything LLM. Anything LLM have a better uh, interface or better UI so you can interact with the model uh better than the terminal which is not user friendly for running models uh to uh to run anything llm we're gonna go to the official website anything llm and we're gonna download the application for mac os and download for apple silicon and we're gonna wait for the downloads and i'm gonna show you guys how to run uh llama 3.2 uh on uh, anything LLM. So our down our uh, file is downloaded and application is ready. We're gonna move it to the application folder, and from there we can close this and we gonna search for anything LLM. And as you see, uh, we're gonna give it some permission to open here, and our application is running. Uh, first thing first uh, to start with anything llm you need to create a workspace and i'm gonna call it olama and i'm gonna hit save and i'm gonna go to the settings and go to the chat settings and we're gonna use olama and uh, automatically it will uh, detect what model they are installed locally in your machine as you see there is llama 3.2 and 3.3 we're gonna start with 3.2 and we're gonna also test the llama 3.3 as well and see how it, how many tokens per second uh, this model takes so after uh, updating the workspace we're gonna go here and start to interact with the model we're gonna start with hello as you see it's pretty fast pretty snappy it's give you 73 token per second. Uh, we're gonna give it another question. Give me the latest news about AI. And as you see, it's pretty fast, pretty snappy, uh, pretty organized on the chat here with anything LLM. Give number one, number two, Google Lambda, 
open OpenAI, ChatGPT, uh, Apple AI powered camera, AI powered healthcare diagnostics. And as you see, it runs for 62 token per second. It's averaging 60 to 70 token per second. And with anything LLM, you can copy, you can edit the response, you can regenerate the response, you can give it a thumbs up, you can fork or delete the response and it's pretty user-friendly interface or UI. Uh, so now we're gonna change our model to 3.370 billion parameters and we're gonna see how this model gonna perform here in anything LLM. So it will automatically change to the models here when we're gonna start with hello. And as you see, it it's taken time to think here because it's using a bigger uh, model. Uh, we're gonna go to the monitor and see how our machine performs here. As you see, it's maxed on the usage of the RAM or the memory and it's even using a swap memory with 23 gigabytes of RAM. And if we can, can look on Olama, it's using four gigabytes of RAM, which is not available on this machine. So um, we're gonna wait for the model to respond here and see how many tokens per second. Can the MacBook Pro M4 Pro ship with 24 gigabytes of RAM perform? Okay, so this model will not run smooth in my machine. As you see, it's start to answer here. It seems like we already start discussing the latest blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it took up to 50 minutes to just generate this uh, phrase here and it's still thinking about it if you go to the monitor activities and it's it, my memory or my RAM is maxed with the swap memory as well um, and as you see all I'm is using 41 gigabytes of RAM uh, I think this specific model needs at least 48 megabytes of RAM to be able uh, to run and uh, give to other applications to run. Yeah, so as you see, uh, the other model 3.27b took four seconds to answer this question, but this model is obviously more uh, advanced and uh, give you better output, but it's also require more RAM and more GPU for your machine. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. By now you should be able to run Llama using Olama and anything LLM for a better interface. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.